warrior, I don't know who this word is for, but whoever you are, the Father wants you to know that you were not removed for evil. You were taken away for God's glory and your legacy's good. Let me say that again because I have this written. You weren't taken away for evil. You were taken away for God's glory and your legacy's good. Today I'm talking to a warrior that has been shifted recently. You were removed from a job. You were removed from a group, maybe a church, maybe a circle of friends, maybe removed from your family, but you were removed. Your position was changed. You were repositioned. And it seemed as if this move was abrupt. It was a quick move, glory to God, because you heard to move. And you did so. And maybe even when you left, you weren't able to say goodbye. You weren't able to leave the way you may have wanted to. But you left because you knew you had to. Because you heard the Father say, move. And you've been having an issue with this. Because you feel as if there may have been some unfinished business in the room or the place that you were just removed from. But glory to God, God has me here on assignment to tell you today, you were repositioned for his glory and for your good because where you were, it was not a place of habitation. It was not a place for you to dwell in. It was not a place where your purpose could fully be developed and could fully be birthed. Glory to God. And so we had to move. You bear with me, words. I got to move up a little. I'm waiting for my daughter, but I got to get this word out. So he needed to shift you. And even though you don't understand why, he wants you to know you're about to see. You're about to see why it's about to make complete sense. He needed you to be removed from where you were because he needed you to take the limitations off of him. He needed you to get rid of your idea, your image, of how things would come to pass. You were too comfortable where you were. He needed you to elevate in your faith. He needed you to know that even if he took you out of that place, even if he removed you from that space, from that position, that he alone was still God and he alone was still able to do everything he told you that he would do. Sometimes where we begin in our journey, is not where we end up. A lot of times, he will begin the good work in us right where we are, right where he met us. But eventually, we will outgrow those places because what he has for you is so much bigger. And that place and that space can't contain it. And it almost became your stumbling block because you didn't want to leave. There was resistance with you even wanting to leave because what you seen, what you heard from the father, you could see it happening in the place, in the room that you were in. So when he said leave, you left, but for a moment, you were just the clarity left too because you were like, well, Lord, you said, and I could see that happening there. But he had to get you out of there because he doesn't need you to limit him. When we limit him, we then place idols in our path that become our stumbling block. And so he knows what he's doing, warrior. And even though it may feel a little heavy right now, continue to stand and trust because you're going to see and I'm believing, he keeps saying, I just kept hearing this in my spirit all morning and I'm claiming this for myself as well in Jesus name, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. He's, and he was showing me this in the sense that 
every great move, every great breakthrough, every great testimony, there was a pre face to it. There was something that happened in that last 24 hours where it may have looked almost impossible. It may have looked even dead. But when God moved, he turned those last 24 hours around to a lifetime of joy, to a lifetime of provision, to a lifetime of legacy in Jesus name. So hold your peace and rest in this moment. And I mean a rest in your spirit. Your obedience will always keep you protected. Your faith will always keep you directed. Your faith will never lead you into a barren place. See, we hear the we hear people say favor ain't fair, and it's not because faith ain't always easy. Favor ain't fair because faith ain't always easy. When you are following the Father, you will look crazy sometimes even to yourself. So when that favor pours out, it ain't fair. But it was an oppressing that you had to go through to get to it in Jesus' name. And the Father is saying, grab that grace today. Grab that grace. I'm moving up again. And, and that's a whole word. I've never had to move up twice while doing these recordings while waiting for my daughter. But today, I've had to move up twice. Because you're going to be moving quick. You're going to be moving suddenly. You're going to have to get repos. You're going to be repositioning. You're going to have to be able to stand your ground and move from that place. Glory to God. Because there's a turnaround in our mess. And the Father's repositioning those who have the faith to believe. He is counting onto you righteousness for your belief. For you to move and change positions, even when you didn't understand in Jesus name. And so he gave me scripture as I wrap this up. This is a quick word. I didn't even think I was coming on today. But glory to God, when he says go, I go. And because when he says go, you went, you're blessed. You're blessed how you abide in the blessing, regardless of what it looks like. He's always leading you to another level. Even if when you left the room, the people that you left behind, they act like they didn't see that you were gone. They act like it was no big deal. No, they're feeling your presence being removed because you made a difference. You're the light of the world. You're the salt of the world. When you left that room, even when people started to put their mouths on you, the Lord is saying... They felt the impact of your presence being there, even though they act like they didn't see you when you were there. Who am I talking to, warrior? But let me give you two scriptures, and this is coming from Isaiah 57. So go read the whole chapter for yourself. But the two scriptures he highlighted was Isaiah 57, verse 1 through 2. The righteous perishes, and no man takes it to heart. Merciful men are taken away while no one considers that the righteous is taken away from evil. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. See, you get to walk in the truth that you obey. That's the truth you get to walk in. That's what allows you to rest. That's where your peace comes from because your obedience will always keep you protected and directed in Jesus name. And sometimes the father removes us not because of the things we see, but because of the things he sees. Not because of the things we hear, but because of the things he hears. Because he sees the things that you didn't see. He, he heard the conversations that you didn't hear. And also he showed me verse 18. So Isaiah 57 verse 18. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will also lead him and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. 
we are entering into a season of comforts, warrior. The turbulence has no choice but to cease and desist on the inside of us. When we walk in uprightness, when we walk in belief, when we walk in our faith, even if the turbulence and everything is going on around us, I'm talking about the turbulence inside of us. We can't be moved spiritually. And when we can't be moved spiritually, then every physical thing has to crumble and fall in Jesus name. We won't be opposed in this season. The Father is saying comforts are coming back. He's moving us forward in Jesus' name. He's repositioning us quickly in Jesus' name. And it may be one quick repositioning after another just to get you to the place before the bell rings. But I heard 24 hours. I heard that you're going to be able to look back on where you are right now. And by this time tomorrow, you'll be able to say, God did, my God did, my God restored peace back onto me, my God restored comforts back onto me, my God restored comforts back onto those with me, the mourners with me, my God redeemed me, my God restored me, my God rejuvenated me, my God repositioned me, glory to God, and it wasn't for evil, but it was for his glory and for your legacy's good. Because this testimony that you're producing, baby, your children's children's children, this is gonna be story time in your family's history, in your family's legacy. This would be generational story time in Jesus' name. Mm, glory to God. Whoever you are, warrior, I just want you to be encouraged. Stand still because you're about to see the salvation of the Lord. And this is going to be a quick move, a quick adjustment, a quick alignment, a quick repositioning. And comforts are being restored to you in Jesus' name. If this word bless you, I just ask you plant the seed of a thumbs up, plant the seed of an amen in the comments. If you're listening today for the first time, you're not here by chance or coincidence. If you showed up, you showed up on purpose for a purpose. And I pray in Jesus name, you do not leave this word today empty handed, but instead subscribe, hit the bell, come back and sit with us. Come back and hear what the Lord is doing. This is a ministry of faith. This is a ministry of love. This is a ministry of hope in Jesus' name. I love you, warriors. I send each and every one of you the blessing. I pray this word blesses you in your spirit and here on earth. I do not take lightly any of the seeds that you sow into me in this ministry here on earth or in heaven in Jesus' name. I just pray this word finds the one. I pray that the peace that surpasses all understanding begins to saturate your entire atmosphere. I pray that clarity comes upon you instantly in Jesus name. I pray that you are repositioned and that your focus, that your gaze is redirected back to the one who spoke. I pray that your trust is strengthened in Jesus name. I pray that you leave no seed behind, that you leave no residue behind in the rooms that you have recently been removed from. But I pray that only your fruit remains, that you have no doubt, that you have no regrets in Jesus name, but that you move forward still trusting in full faith, in full belief, in full hope of the power of the most high God in Jesus name. I love you words and I'll talk to you soon.